Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, eternal King of glory, we bless your name this morning. Thank you, Lord, for another new day. Today, the 7th of January, 2024, we bless your name. We thank you for your eternal weight of glory, eternal power, eternal blessings upon our lives. Thank you, Lord, for the opportunity that you have loaded in this day, in this week. We receive them. We walk in them consciously. We receive ability and power. We pray, Heavenly Lord, that we will be mindful of the work that you have given us to do in every sphere of our lives. We bless you, mighty Father. We pray for the sick, the bereaved. We have your grace. We ask your grace and mercy upon them. In Jesus' precious name, amen and amen. Good morning, beloved in the Lord. Bon dia, bonjour, manguana, akanaka. Well, this morning, I want to project our mind to dominion. I want to project our mind to dominion. And I will read Genesis chapter number one for you very quickly. Genesis chapter number one. Let's look at verse number 26. And God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowl of the air and, and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every crippling thing that creepeth upon the earth. God said, let them have dominion. Let them have dominion. Now, dominion, beloved in Lord, in 2024, we have to understand it is not a gift. You cannot pray. Remember the word, it said, let them have dominion. That means there must be something to be done in order for dominion to be given. Let them have dominion over everything that he has created. And we need to uh, ask ourselves this question, how do I have dominion over everything, over principalities, over powers, over rulers of darkness, over challenges that you will face this year, over all the, uh, the, 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 the obstacles that the enemy planned for you? I said something that it is a false prophecy to say that you will not have challenges this year. You will only have victory over them. You will only have victory. Therefore, dominion is extremely important to be established. How do I establish dominion? Number one, let's go to the book of um, let's go to the book of um, Hebrews, Hebrews chapter number four. Let's look at verse number one. I want to um, give us one, two, or three pointers to this. Hebrews chapter four, verse number one. It says in le- um, verse number mm, no, verse, Hebrews chapter one, rather, please forgive me. Hebrews chapter one, verse number uh, one. It said, God who at sundry times and in diverse manners speak in time past unto our father by the prophet by the prophets as in this last day spoken unto us by a son whom he has joined who he has appointed heir of all things by whom also he has made the world who being in the brightness of the glory and the express image of his person and upholding all things by the word of his power when he had been himself page of sin, sat down on the right end of the majesty on high. Beloved in the Lord, how do we get dominion this year? We must be able to learn directly from Christ. From Christ. We must have intimacy with Christ. By him all things was created. By him, all things were created. Is in our in the in the last part in the last dispensation, God speaks to them through prophet. It is erron, erroneous to be seeking prophetic message from here and there when you have Christ your Savior and as the Holy Spirit of God. 
yesterday I was preaching and I said, remember in the, but naturally, a natural man carry uh, electricity capacity that can, um, that can power a, a small town, 16 houses. That is a natural man. A spiritual man has more capacity to power more than 15, 20 villages. Why? Because it's a supernatural power, harder to the natural power. Beloved in the Lord, we need to make a resolution this year that your walk with Christ, your walk with the word, and how you, how you carry out what the word says is at the top of our agenda. At the top of our agenda. That the word of God will be the final authority. In this last day, he has spoken to us. He has spoken to us by his son, whom he has appointed heir of all things, by whom also the world was made. Uh, in the ministry, in your business, in your career, you must have this understanding, your intimacy. Beloved in the Lord, there are levels where your education has reached a limit, a limit, it can go beyond that. A level where your understanding has limit, where your vision has limit, where your anointing has limit, where your uh, 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 power has limit. But beyond that is when you begin to tap into another dimension that will not increase the anointing to that dimension. Ah, I discovered that. That your anointing have a limit. And when you get to another realm, it is now, now will pull that anointing to that level where you are. But this only comes when you begin to intimate the word. Intimate what God says. Intimate the principles and the practices and the ordinances of God. Then you will have dominion. We have dominion mandate this year to grow. To be powerful. And to be established. Therefore, we cannot miss out on the principles and the pattern that will lead us to that. I pray the Lord give unto us understanding this morning that as you continue this week, you must have this understanding of the dominion mandate. And don't forget, exercise the gift and the grace of God upon your life. The power of God that is placed upon you. Never cease to pray for people. Never cease to, 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 to reach out to people in the, with the word of God. Never cease to evangelize. Never cease to convict people that Jesus is God. And as you do that, you begin to find peace, joy, and rest for the soul. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you. Grant unto you peace and tranquility in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. God bless you very good. Bye for now.